Hi, first grade. It is time for some math today. We are going to talk about something new, and that is fractions. Fractions are when we're showing equal parts of a whole. And there's a couple of important words here. The first one is equal. If something is equal, that means that it's even or the same or fair. So if I have two cookies and you have two cookies, we have an equal amount. It's the same. It's fair. We both got two cookies. If I have one cookie and you have three cookies, that's not equal. That's not fair or the same because you have more. So when it's equal, it's the same amount. Equal parts, so parts are like a piece of something, like we broke it up, of a whole. And a whole is all of the parts together in one thing, the whole thing. So here is my circle. It's one whole circle. And we might see that as the number one, or we might see the words one whole, the whole thing. I have the whole cookie. Halves is when you break something into two equal parts. So maybe there's two of us and I only have one cookie, so I'm going to break it in half and share half of my cookie with you. Then we each have half of a cookie. We both have the same amount. So one half is when it's broken into two parts. And sometimes we might see it, it looks like this. This is called a fraction. It's a one, and then we have this line and a two underneath it. Because one half is one part out of two parts all together. And that's okay, you're gonna learn a lot about that more when you get bigger. But I'm just, I just want you to see it right now. And one half is how we might see the word. So I wanna talk a little bit more about what half means. So we might see the word like this, half, like give me half. And when there's two of them, we see it written and it says halves. That is like a tricky rule in writing in English that sometimes when something ends in an F and we wanna make it plural, we wanna make there more than one, it turns into a V, halves, we say halves. So if I have these shapes and I wanted to split them into two equal parts, split them in half. If I drew my line like this, would this be half? What do you think? What if I had a cookie and I gave you a piece that big, or if this was a big chocolate brownie, and I gave you that piece, and then I got that piece? Would you like that? That wouldn't be fair because this piece is way smaller, right? It's not the same size. So that does not show half because the two parts are not equal. Okay, what if I had this delicious chocolate chip cookie and I split it like that and I gave you that piece and me that piece. Would that be fair? Yeah, and I know it's not exactly perfect, but I tried my best, right? So these are two halves. The two parts are equal. They're the same. We each get the same amount. Two equal parts, two halves. What about my triangle? With your finger, can you draw an imaginary line? I'll wait. How would you split this in half? Okay, you can pause if you need more time. I'm gonna go, there's lots of ways you could do it. You could go like this and make two equal halves. You could go from this corner this way, from this corner this way. Any of those would be correct, as long as your parts are equal or about as equal as you could make them. Two equal halves, they split it in half. Sometimes we might have more than one thing that we wanna split in half and share. So maybe I have all of these hearts. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I wanna give half of the hearts to you and half of the hearts to me. So maybe I'm gonna circle one for me one for you, one for me, one for you. I'm sharing them in half. I'm gonna keep going so you can see better. One for me, one for you, one for me, one for you. Okay, let's see how many did I get. One, two, three, four. And you got one, two, three, four. 
Did one of us have more? No, they were the same. That was equal parts. So this is halves. Four is half of the hearts. I also might have, maybe I have circles, and I want to color half of all the circles. That doesn't mean slice all of these in half. Maybe I want to color half of them pink. So I'm going to see one, two, three, there's four of them. I bet if I look at these, here's two and here's two. Is that even? Yeah, so this is half of all the circles. So I'm going to color half of the circles pink. You could also solve that like this. If I had four, I know this is starting to look crazy. Should we use a different color? Maybe it's green. Okay. If I had four circles, one, two, three, four, and I wanted to color half of them green, to do half, I could kind of do the one for me, one for you strategy. I could go one green, one white. One green, one white, right? Like a pattern. And then you just have to count them up to make sure that it was fair. One, two are green. One, two are white. Oh, they were equal. Those are halves. Okay, first grade. On Seesaw, I sent you an activity. And there's somewhere you have to draw the line to make half. There's somewhere you have to look at a picture and say, like, yes, that shows half. Or no, that's not fair. That doesn't show half. It's not even or equal. And then there's one where you have to color half of, I think it's hearts, a half of all the hearts one color and the other half another color. So you can go to activities on Seesaw and work on that. I can't wait to see all your hard work. Good job, first grade.